Hello, the great news first. Since version 1.44, 3D LUT Creator is able to create not only LUTs, but the color profiles. And in this video, I will show you how to create color profiles for Capture One in 3D LUT Creator. Here is a series of photos taken with the Canon 5D Mark II. In Capture One, there is only one color profile for this camera. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create your own ICC profile based on the Capture One profile. I'll take a profile from Capture One, change the colors in 3D LUT Creator, and then save it as a new profile. This method is good because before creating the profile, I can adjust the image how I want to prepare the image for the final color correction. That is, I can adjust the white balance, exposure, highlight the shadows, and so on. This can be done because color profile in Capture One is applied after all adjustments. I lighten the shadows a little. Now, I need to open this processed photo in 3D LUT Creator. To do this, I go to the menu File, Edit With. If I select the Open With item, Capture One sends the raw file to 3D LUT Creator. That is, Capture One color settings will not be applied. I choose Edit With. Here you need to select TIFF, 16-bit, and the color profile is better to choose Pro Photo. If you select sRGB, the new color profile will be limited to sRGB color gamut. The Pro Photo has a wider gamut, so I choose it. If you do not have Pro Photo on this list, then you can download it from the internet and install it. In the Open With drop-down list, I select 3D LUT Creator. If you do not have it here, then you can select Browse and Add It. I click Edit. Capture One creates processed image in TIFF format and loads it into 3D LUT Creator. Here is the TIFF, and you can see that it has Pro Photo Color Profile. To keep the video short, I will apply one of the presets that come with the program. I press F3. The Look Manager window opens. Let's see what we have here. This one looks too green. I also do not want to make a night from a day on this photo. This one is OK. This preset has double channel mixer. That is, one matrix and is used for the lights and another for the shadows. The transition between two color matrices is done through the mask. That's how the mask looks. I will save this LUT as a color profile. I click Save 3D LUT and select the ICC profile file type. Now I need to save this profile to the folder where Windows stores its color profiles. It's the same place as for the printers and display profiles. Disk C, Windows, System32, Spool Folder. I don't see it here, so I just type spool and press enter. Here it is. Then drivers, color. I will transfer this folder to my favorites so that next time I can quickly move into it. On the Mac, you need to save your profile to the following location. Library, color sync, profiles. Here are the profiles that I have installed in the system. And I will create a new one. I will add 5D2 prefix to its name, so later I would know that this profile is for Canon camera, and click Save. In 3D LUT Creator, you can save profiles of several types. Now we are interested in the camera profile, and this is the input profile. There are various settings here which I will cover in the next video. And now I will make a profile based on another profile. I will tick the Base on Profile checkbox and select the profile that was applied by Capture One. Profiles can be found in the folder with Capture One profiles. On Windows, it's located in Program Files, Phase One, Capture One, Color Profiles, DSLR. On the Mac, you can find them in Applications, Capture One 10.app, Contents, Frameworks, AppCore.Framework, Versions, A, Resources, Profiles, Input. As you remember, the picture is taken on Canon 5D Mark II. And this is the profile I used for photo. Profile is successfully saved. Now I switch to Capture One. 
To see it here, I need to select Show All. Capture One does not automatically update the profile lists, so you need to restart the program. Now I can choose my new profile here. This is how the picture looks in 3D LUT Creator, and here it is in Capture One. As you can see, the pictures completely match. Since the profile is applied after all color corrections, I can adjust the white balance or the shadows, for example. That is, I can continue to process the photo in Capture One, and my new LUT will be applied to it. Also, I can quickly apply this color to other photos from the series. I can adjust individual settings so that this profile is better matched with the other photos. That is, you can color grade the series of images in Capture One much quicker now. You simply need to create a profile, apply it to the whole series, and then edit individual photos if something looks different. That's all. I hope this lesson is useful to you. Goodbye, everyone.